Welcome to the Breath of Fresh Eric and Jacob podcast. <sighs> Is right. Here we are, baby. <laughs> Couldn't agree more, Alistair. My dude. My dog, my dude, Alistair. That's what the podcast should be about. Yeah. This episode, we're just going to talk about our homeboy. <laughs> we're not doing that. Please keep listening. What we're doing, uh, we had a plan, um, and that plan's gone out the window due to some recent events. Um, we watched Arrival last night. Yeah. Um, which we've both seen before, but we were we were tweaking about yeah, it. Yeah, it didn't cease to just blow our minds again. Um, yeah, so Eric has a short video, uh, short thing from youtube it's eight minutes long eight minutes long that oh well, so that's like semi it's decent yeah um so if you're on the audio version of this i would encourage you to switch over to the youtube version yes uh, watch it with us uh or just pull up the video and and watch yeah. it along you know um but i haven't seen it and if you've seen arrival it really messes with your head yeah um, let's let's talk about arrival for a second just to kind of can I do my little bit before? Yes, just, or, okay. Just so this happened. So I did something and it felt really weird. And I didn't do it for the sake of talking about it. But one of my first thoughts after was what would Eric have to say about what I just did? So <laughs> this past weekend, I went camping and, okay. uh, you know, like, I mean, it was like a campsite. So there were, you know, yeah. at, like stations or whatever. Like and fire pits and stuff. Yeah. Um, and they have... You know, like a campground shower building mm. bathroom is yeah. what you yeah, might call yeah, yeah. it. And there's, have you been to like one before? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's not like, it's maybe half a step up from like a high school shower, you know? Yeah. But it's also outside. Right. Yeah. Know? Well, these ones, it was like, a, it was like in a structure. Yeah. It yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So but there's still like, you know, you got like a praying mantis in there looking yes, at you while yeah. you're showering type thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I went. I went in to take a shower yeah. and one of the showers, so, you know, they, most of them kind of have like stock everything. Um, and in terms of like the shower head and the handle and like the, yeah. you know, very industrial. Yes, yes, yes. So there's one shower in this row of like five or six that has like a custom shower head. Like it looks like someone went out and bought a nice shower head to put on this one shower. And it wasn't, it wasn't like the handicap stall or anything. It was just. Somebody just bought, it was just like, I'm going to fix this up. I'm going to put it, put it here. So yeah. anyway. I went and shower. I, I I was like, sweet, a, a nice... Like one of those rain showers? Yeah. Well, no, but <laughs> <laughs> it felt like it at that point. Yeah. But I... So I was like, this is exciting. And I turned it on all the way hot, lukewarm. It didn't get as it hot didn't, It didn't as, get that hot. So what I did, um, the, the way the showers are structured is like you walk in and there's like half a stall, then there's a curtain, and then it's the shower, mm. right? So yeah. I walked in, turned it on, lukewarm little disappointed. Um, so I was like, well, I'm going to see if the next shower is any warmer. And at this point, I'm the only one in the whole bathroom thing right. on the men's side. So I was like, I could just walk out right. You're just in the nude nude to, yeah. to check out this other shower. So I put on my Crocs because I don't want to, you know, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> Nothing but birthday the Crocs suit on. and Crocs. Yeah. yeah. And I switch over to the stall next to me and I turn it on and it's warmer. And I was like, ah, crap. Like I kind of, yeah. I wanted to prioritize a warm shower over, over a nice shower. Head. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, sweet, I'll just go grab my stuff and bring it over here. And when I decide to do that, someone comes in. So <laughs> like to the bathroom. So I'm trapped uh, in the nude in my Crocs in this shower stall with two showers running at this point. <laughs> and I'm only occupying one of them. And one of them has my stuff in it. <laughs> so the lukewarm one, though, the lukewarm one. So I was like, oh, I have two options. I could like wait for this person to go or like just sneak it, like try to be as quick as I can and like, you know, nude it yeah. outside. And, you know, and I didn't do either of those things. What I did. So there were stall, there were like stall doors or stall walls yeah. uh, separating like the showers themselves yeah. with like about like a two foot gap at the bottom before the floor, if that makes sense. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So. In only my Crocs, I crawled <laughs> <laughs> from one shower stall to the next one, um, and then I finished my shower. But I was like, in my head as I was doing it, I'm like, this is kind of weird. Yeah. But like, I was, I was like, I, I, I felt just, resourceful. Just peeing out 
just walk out and walk into the other one like nothing's happening. Because it's a shower. You <laughs> know what up. I mean? Yeah. It's a bathroom. <laughs> you know, it's like, you can expect to see some, some wong. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> it was like a family friendly, like there were kids around. Like in in the bathroom? I didn't know. I just oh. heard the door open. And yeah. Like, so I was, if it was risking. A kid, yeah. If it was a kid, that would not be cool. So I was like, I didn't think about that. You know, it I was, was just thinking about like, like gym it's locker a, room. Yeah, you no, know it, it was a little bit more private yeah. than that, I guess. Like, hey. I was like, like you oh, should clearly man. only be naked behind the curtain. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Until you crawled underneath. So I crawled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would at least peek my head out, you know, yeah. say like. <laughs> See what the deal was. Hey. Yeah, it was. So I just felt so weird. So did you leave them both running? Uh, Yeah. and Because I, I, <laughs> if you would have turned one off and then like not gotten out. <laughs> <laughs> they would have been so, like, what? <laughs> so really what I ended up doing was protecting myself with a, a shower buffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there was one that someone thought there would they be a They thought there were two people yes, showering. But because why would two showers be on if two people weren't showering? <laughs> because one might be warmer than the other. <laughs> <laughs> Who maybe knows? one was checking. One has a nicer shower head. You know, <laughs> yeah. we got to weigh the pros and cons. Yeah. You're so. deliberating in your <laughs> between your two showers. So... So it just felt weird, and I, I got done, and I knew it was a weird thing that to do. Um, oh, okay, I understand. Yeah, like like this was. I was, I was, I was I, yeah. I'm trying to. I was trying to connect this to a rival. Oh no, not at all. <laughs> I was like, so but did I was. You, just, did you know that this was going to happen? No, like, <laughs> like, that, but that evening I was like, Eric needs to know. Like, yeah, hear about yeah, this. I love that. That's hilarious. So, uh, I don't know if there's a lesson there, but the lesson is. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. <laughs> Which is not at all related to Arrival. No. How about that transition? Arrival. Woo. Um. <laughs> um, so, for those of you who have not seen the movie... Um, I'm going to whip up the IMDb to throw some facts at you. Yeah, give us the synopsis. Yeah. But uh, Arrival's awesome. One of those movies that makes you think. Very original sci-fi movie. The aliens are unlike any alien I've seen. The UFOs are unlike any UFO I've seen. Everything is, like, original, and I really appreciate that. Yeah, very yeah. weird. Very. Uh, so it's actually categorized as – oh, I'm sorry. So it's drama first, then mystery, then sci-fi. Huh. So sci-fi is, like – it's, like, loosely qualified, which is dumb because it's yeah. still obviously a sci-fi film. And okay. mystery yeah. because they don't – know how to speak the language yeah i don't know i because it's all i mean a big question like the whole you know purpose of uh who's the the general that we were making fun of uh forrest whitaker yeah so he feel bad saying that but he uh like his whole thing was like ask them why they're here and that i guess is the mystery element mm, because you yeah. still don't know until know why the very there. end i guess yeah. okay so Synopsis, uh, a linguist works with the military to communicate with alien life forms after 12 mysterious spacecraft appear around the world. Um, starring Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, Forrest Whitaker, and then we kind of get into the, the lower here. You heard but. about the whole Jeremy Renner and his app thing, right? Doesn't he? I feel like maybe he does camping stuff, right? Or like outdoor? Uh, Is that? So Jeremy Renner yeah. came out with an album. I don't know if you mm -hmm. knew that. I did know he did He's some in the amount Jeep of commercial. <laughs> yeah. um, I think we talked about this in an earlier episode, but so he had his own app where you would basically just like give him money to access his Instagram feed, which you could also access on Instagram for free. And really, then it got taken down by him or like by. I'm not sure, because like <coughs> it was one of those where like the. YouTube troll accounts like caught wind of it and then started making fun of them. Oh, okay. Uh, like okay, sure. A Cody Co type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was like, the thing I hate most, internet trolls ruined my app. And then like it was really? gone. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like What? Yeah, but it was like So it was like a it was like a like a GoFundMe, but only for but like it was like you you would pay money to get these stars and you would spend stars on his posts to be like the top donator and then like the top donator got like 
comment like he would comment on your comment so that's like he's like auctioning his yeah. like online presence yeah that's ridiculous i know and so drew gooden do you are you, we talked about him earlier too yeah he did the logan paul thing uh okay oh you have to watch that but he like accidentally he he bought some stars but he accidentally spent like fifty dollars of it mm-hmm. or something um and then what was happening is that like when he would spend like he got like fifty thousand stars or something like okay that. yeah and he spent a thousand and then t- like whatever he spent double that amount went away from his <laughs> amount so if you bought like x amount you really only got like you know half of that but why like just because no one knows like he, he was just like i spent like three thirty six hundred stars on this post yeah and then like only 1800 applied like is that what you they mean? left he only spent 30 like 3600 on there yeah yeah, yeah. and then what's 30 7200 7200 yeah i think like did. left yeah oh like we're spent okay i understand so, like yeah but it didn't show up anywhere that it left other than just like his total so like what yeah and so it was just like a scam <laughs> jeremy renner i know so funny oh okay um <laughs> <laughs> you should still watch arrival because it's yeah, arrival great. Was good. um so it was directed by uh i'm gonna pronounce this wrong uh it's dennis villeneuve villeneuve villain villeneuve villeneuve um anyway know. he's a french canadian Film director. He Dope. did Blade Runner 2049, Sick. Arrival, Sick. Um, Incendies, Incendies, Sicario. Sick. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That was his. That was his known for. Okay, he did Sicario. He did Enemy, uh, Prisoners, Sick. Rated R for nudity. I don't really know. Early, that's a, that's earlier than Prisoners is beyond me. But yeah. Um, anyway, prisoners was the first time that I had like heard his name. Yeah. But anyway, he like all of his movies are bangers. Yeah. They're just, I don't think he's missed, you know? Yeah. Like he just, at least since prisoners, I I can't say anything. He's like five for five. Like, but yeah, like a, like a, I don't know. I feel like people feel that way about Tarantino. mm -hmm. You know, it's like literally all of his movies are awesome. And there aren't very many people to where you can like say that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But this dude, like, his movies are, like, another level of awesome. Yeah. It's kind of like Fincher-type stuff. Yeah. You know? D- a different, yeah. like, you know, flavor. But, like, that elite tier of, yeah. like... You can just tell that smart people worked on these things. Yeah. Yeah. Is, like... so I don't, Especially I don't, this movie. So this was... We should talk about the writer. Um, okay, so it's based off a story called Story of Your Life. Um and that was written by a guy named Ted. It looks like I'm gonna have to say it wrong. Bundy. Like Chiang, C H I A N G, Chiang. Yeah. I don't Ted Chiang. Yeah. Um, the screenplay was by Eric Heiserer. Heinzman. Mm, close. Um, <laughs> Could you imagine? But he also wrote. My name was credited. <laughs> he would have been like, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All the stuff I was telling you last night. Was <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, so this guy also wrote a movie called Hours, which I've not seen. He wrote mm. Bird Box. Oh. He wrote Lights Out. Uh, Lights Out was a horror movie, wasn't it? Uh, I think so. He wrote Extinction, uh, The Thing. He wrote Final Destination 5. Like the the thing from the 80s? Um, the Thing 2011. I guess there was uh, a reboot. And yeah, I never saw wrote... that one. Anyway, it was just... Okay, so we should actually <laughs> and get into it. Final now. Destination 4? <laughs> what five yeah five yeah. <laughs> awesome um but so the re- so this movie came out in 2016 <clears throat> you might be thinking well that's not relevant that was three years ago and you'd be right to say that but eric and i were tweaking so hard last yes. night yes post watching this movie with with eddie is yes. that what you mean yes. yeah so yes. we watched it with a few people um but us two and our friend eddie specifically we're losing our minds. Yes. Um, the movie plays with time, and it plays with... Well, time's probably the biggest. Time is the biggest thing, yeah. Um, I don't know if that's a spoiler. I hope it's not. It came out 
three like, years ago yeah okay so Almost we have four years ago you know? okay yeah so it's fine sorry not sorry but yeah we're gonna we're gonna talk about it so if you haven't seen it we don't and need you don't, your, we don't need your view yeah <laughs> um but i, I guess know, i don't we, know if we're could, a point to say that yeah we, we, we could go <laughs> <laughs> we could go not super spoiler yeah. you know <clears throat> we'll keep it light but like um there's this these aliens land on earth and there are 12 like of these ufos and then there's these like tree trunk hand looking alien things um and amy adams is a genius and learns how to like talk to these people because she's like this master linguist and so these aliens like their language is this is hard to explain like so they're i I don't care Um, you're gonna do we're gonna do it yeah so the spoiler yeah so their language is like they describe it as like an entire sentence at once like Mm -hmm. so you if you're if you're forming a sentence from both ends and then you meet at the middle you would need to know exactly what you're going to say and how much like space there is in between so that's how language works it appears in like a circular ink block yes shape yes um like a ring and so these aliens like time is would you say fluid um i that's a good word they say non-linear a lot non-linear yeah, yeah. and so like we <clears throat> speak linearly mm-hmm. is that a word yeah yeah uh, mm-hmm. and these aliens speak non-linearly and so they're saying like because we speak in a linear form that we perceive time in a linear form mm-hmm. and these aliens speak like nonlinear, so then they just have like time is just nonlinear. yeah so the the whole thing is like amy adams like learns this she's trying to learn to communicate with them yeah uh, so as she's learning the language she starts to experience time non-linearly yeah um and because you're watching it in a movie like the way they per, like show that like, while you're watching it, it shows, like, flashes of her kid who has yet to be born. Yeah. But while you're watching it, you think it's flashbacks. Yeah. Because that's normally how fl- right. that's normally how movies are structured. And so you think it's, like, her kid died. Yeah. Like, they, they show the kid growing up dying. Yeah. So you think the events of the movie are post that happening. Um, and the big kind of reveal of that is she's she's like talking to the aliens like one last time and she at least this is when i understood what it was mm. she asked the aliens why like who is this child yeah why are you showing her to me i'm getting goosebumps again uh. like <laughs> like so that's that's when it becomes like at least clear maybe not clear yeah but like that's the i think the biggest hint yeah to the audience that like like she doesn't know who this is and we thought we knew who she was yeah and then oh and yeah it's crazy and then like if because we both watched it a second time this was our second time watching Um, it. yeah and so like i knew what the ending was but there was a lot of stuff that i like the in-between things that i forgot Mm -hmm. um and knowing what's going to happen and then watching all those flashbacks like as flash forwards yeah uh blew my mind because mm-hmm. they are so well done <clears throat> it's yeah. like they're and at the beginning she like spells everything out for you but like you don't know but that you it's have being no idea what spelled you, out yeah, for you yeah it's just like okay that's you know it's like a, have you seen um what's the uh magi- the uh prestige yeah. Yeah. The, like, yeah. I don't know if you knew. Prestige is the, nuts. That's another, yeah. That's that's a good movie. Yeah. But uh, similarly to Arrival, like the opening monologue. Yeah. Like does the same thing yeah. where it's like, it's hey, a, this is the whole movie, but you don't know it's the whole movie. It's a thing in like well done movies. Yeah. And it'll probably become like a trope, I guess. But I, I think you like, you have to execute it so well yeah. that like, even if it was a trope, I wouldn't care. Yeah. It'd be like, yeah. that they did it again. Like, because that you was don't sweet. know. You have yeah. no idea. Um, like it requires a second watch to know that it was yeah. that thing. Because I remember watching it the first time and not liking it as much as I did the second time. The, for the prestige? Uh, for Arrival. Arrival, okay. Um, because like, 
I was confused for like 40 minutes of the movie. Mm -hmm. Then at the end, I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, whatever that's it like yeah and then like i didn't really talk to anyone about it afterwards either okay you know i watched it i think with my mom in the theater it was just like that movie was weird and i was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> and so let's go get a yeah. blizzard <laughs> yeah, like, let's go home. um and so like talking it with you guys afterwards just got me even more jacked yeah because like so we were talking <laughs> about there's so much to this. Let me let me do one more plot point. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. A big thing with like the this whole daughter situation. So she understands like near the end, she like understands the language, and once you learn it, you experience time in a nonlinear way. And they specifically like gave her the gift of yeah, it's like an ability. Yeah, um, which she then teaches to everyone, right? To like the world, but which anyway, is like the future of right, right, yeah. right. So. The crazy thing is, so she learns this language and can see time non-linearly prior to having a kid. So that means she chooses to have a child knowing that the child will die of As a cancer. terminal illness. Yeah, yeah or uh, I guess we assume it's cancer, but yeah. it's, you know, something. She has the child knowing that it's going to die. Um, and, like, and I don't know, that's just like a... a Eddie kept using the word beautiful, and I think he's right. Like, yeah. It's, like, tragic. But like, it is. It is tragic. It, it was, like, she wanted to experience the joy of being a mother yeah. knowing it was going to end anyway. Like, yeah. ooh. And just ooh. brought Jeremy Renner along for the ride. Yeah. That like, was... imagine that. You know what I mean? It was, like, something to where they – I feel like they had the perfect amount of it in there. And it, it's crazy because it's the last like twenty minutes, and they didn't, but they didn't like show him leaving. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I mean. It was just like they didn't like spell it out to death. You know what I right, mean? It right, was right, like right. the perfect amount of like just kind of out yes, there. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know. So the whole another part of that is like in these. Well, in these, I don't, I can't call them flashbacks. In these Flash moments, forwards. like yeah, yeah, they're yeah. So in these flash forwards, the daughter keeps alluding to like, where's dad? Why did yeah. dad leave? So Amy Adams was divorced, um, you know, post having the child. And you find out in the end, her dad ends up, be, or like the father ends up being Jeremy Renner. Um, and you find out he leaves because Amy Adams reveals to him that she knew that their child was right. going to die. Yeah. So that's why he left. And obviously like, Which is Jeremy like can't, fair. Te Jeremy you know can't I mean? tell the child yeah. Like, this is why I left. Like, hey, because your, your mom can see into the future. <laughs> and <laughs> Could you imagine, though, being married to somebody? Like, if Ashley could see into the future and she's just, like, mad at you for something you're going to do, like, five <laughs> years from now. <laughs> I'm just like, I didn't even, <laughs> I I didn't haven't, even do it yet. I can, if you tell me, I'll, I won't. Like, right. <laughs> but then you will. And yeah, then it, like, and then it's, like, inevitable anyways <laughs> yeah. because it's the future and yeah. it's, it's, like, already happened yeah later but i you know what i'm saying like that's crazy i'd be she would win every argument and i could do yeah. nothing about it yeah and, <laughs> and then Dang. she here's the thing too she would know when she's going to lose arguments and so she just wouldn't even have them yeah or she'd just like you know <laughs> figure Take something different, out yeah. yeah i'm mad now I'm <laughs> yeah <laughs> ashley <laughs> um, you're not supposed to see into the future yeah if maddie was able to see into the future like and do stuff like that Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe things would be better. I don't know if things would be better or worse. It's You know what like, I mean? Because it gives, then it would be like she could – it would be a huge burden, obviously. But then she could like – she would have the ability to make things – To control yeah, everything. So to make things like right, mm -hmm. you know, like avoid future problems, but also right. like like – yeah, that would, I know but that mean. would require like, then it's like, is that her responsibility? Yeah, to no, do so, that. So then, okay, so that brings up a question: like, if you can see nonlinearly, so like, essentially, if either of us had this ability, we could see from now and past, mm. like until we die. Yeah. So like, is all of that set in stone? Especially, that's, that's a big. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Because if you're, I guess what the part I don't understand is like, 
and this is just because we live time linearly. So like, I, of course I can't understand how this would work, but like, if I can experience time non-linearly, then can I just choose to be like 30 indefinitely? Like be living in my 30s and just like repeat my 30s. Like just do your like own no, nothing, day. No, yeah, but like, yeah, like turn it on. Like I, you know, if you're fluent. Because I think I think like as she became more fluent in the language, right? Then, like she would be able to control more. But that, because in the movie like, it's very like like she doesn't know what's happening. Yeah. But she also only knows like. 30 words or something. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So it's like, now she has everything. Mm Mm-hmm. And so, like, before they left, they just, like, spewed their whole, like, dictionary out there. Right, right, right. And so, like, the world has their entire language. Yeah. And she has the ability to read it. Mm Mm-hmm. So you have to think, like, she learned it all. And then she wrote a book about it. Right, right, right. And so, like, I think if she's, like, completely fluent, Mm -hmm. then she could. Because those aliens, like, they came to Earth when they wanted to. So then it's, like, what what would stop her from, you know, going to 1600 or something? Uh, Just because she wants to. Yeah, I... Excuse me, man. Into the mic. There will be an episode for What is the podcast called? Breath of Fresh Eric and Jacob. Yeah. So anything that's a breath into the mic. Into the mic. Okay. Even a fart. Even a <laughs> it's just Is that a, a breath? Butt, it's, it's just a, a butt exhale. Ugh. Ew. So yeah, that's that's what we and so then after the movie we were like we were like, what if we watch the movie backwards? Like, and then we're like, would it make sense? And then we're like, it kind of would, but only for like the first half. And then, you know, <laughs> Eddie was just freaking out. And then yeah. he looked up to see if there was like a dictionary. Which there is. Yeah. The guy who wrote the language for the movie yeah. posted like uh, maybe not the whole language, but at least key like, I don't know if you call them sentences. Like, like the, the ones that, the yeah. big ones that they used in the movie. Yeah. Which like, quite a few. Like are available online. Yeah. And like these giant JPEGs. Yeah. So, <laughs> and so, and it just looks like ink blots if yeah. you haven't seen the, yeah. you know. But Eddie's learning the language um, so he can time travel. What's so crazy is there was a, uh, included with this link to the images, there was a video file of the guy. He did like a live session. Yeah. I, I think he, he coded it on GitHub or something. Mm. So, like, it was him explaining how the coding of it worked. Um, and Eddie clicked on the link and it didn't exist. It, he got a 404 yeah, unfound. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we were saying, what if we were sent here to send the guy his language right. so that he could develop so it? Then he know, so then this movie could be made. <laughs> so I think we're responsible for yeah. arrival. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, Jeremy we, Renner. I, we didn't actually do it, so. Yeah. Oh, crap. So... We're gonna we're gonna publish this and people are gonna be like, "What movie are you talking about?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you talked about a movie that doesn't exist. Yeah, yet. but you spent an great hour. plot point. <laughs> you know, like you should make that. Maybe that that's really, what it is. That was really good casting too. We should use our yeah. We should use our skills to make a way worse version of it. <laughs> this will be like, and then what happened? You know. Yeah. I've always thought about like we, oh my gosh, you know that like, Beatles movie that well, go ahead. I was gonna say we look at the cover of the DVD and it like fades. Yeah. yeah like yeah, it's yeah. a blank. <laughs> disc oh gosh um <laughs> what you know that movie that came out about a uh, yesterday it was about like if the beatles never existed or whatever yeah so i've thought about in the past like what if somebody didn't write this song and like i knew it and then i wrote it and released it is that the plot of the movie of yeah basically okay but, like the whole beatles didn't exist yeah so he just yeah, like yeah. writes all their songs but so did he like know them or was it just like i didn't watch it yeah oh. he knew it <laughs> okay he, gotcha, he gotcha. knew the songs and so but they didn't exist, but yes, and so I he just like yeah, yeah. wrote them and released them, and it'd it's be the like, Beatles, so it's like you know, yeah, they, they were popular. right, good, yeah. <laughs> um, but I've thought about that, mm-hmm. and then it's like, well, like I don't know all the words to this, mm-hmm. and I definitely don't know how to do all the instrumentation. So like, if I were to try and write it, it wouldn't be the same. This, yeah, like it probably wouldn't be as good. Sure. Yeah. And I don't know. That's just like a 
interesting thought that I've had. Because mm-hmm. if we were to make this movie, we would not get Amy Adams and Jeremy Renner to do it. No. Um, we would not have the budget. We would not have the direct. Oh, you're talking like just you and me. Yeah. Like grab a camera. Like and... if it was like this movie doesn't exist and we're like, oh, yeah. we're going to no. make it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're lucky if we get Forrest Whitaker. Dude, no. Forrest Whitaker was in, uh, was in the... Uh, the Star Wars movies as well. He was. Yeah. Who was he? I can't remember. He's in so many movies. He's, I don't know. Okay. I don't know his character's name. Yeah. I didn't really like those movies. Wasn't, oh, Sylvester Stallone was in Guardians of the Galaxy, not Star Wars. Was he? He was. And d- what was he doing? <laughs> he was uh like, the, 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 the squad goes to this other planet and they show up and, you know, he's like the bad, not the bad guy, but like the experienced guy at the bar. Oh. Yeah. Who's yeah. like, I don't know if you should do that. I do like, remember that. Yeah. <laughs> he's got like his own crew. Like, whatever. Sylvester Stallone needs to to hang up the gloves. Yeah. In all senses? Or like, because he just made the last Rambo. I know. Which last shouldn't, blood. Which shouldn't be made. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta First think blood, how last blood, how like realistic. I mean, how old is he? He's sixty something, right? He's got to be. He's got to be older than that. Look that up. Okay, but I guess I mean, like, my point is like he eventually, like, realistically within the film's plot, he has to be old enough to where it's like you should not be this mobile or skilled anymore. Yeah, you are a seventy-year-old man. Yeah, the military could wipe you out. <laughs> no, because it's Rambo. Oh, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> Did you see first blood? Did you see him second punch blood a... or third blood? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if that was <laughs> <laughs> last blood? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Born so... 1946. So that makes him 73. Yeah. 73 years old. Get out of and here. And he's fighting people with guns. It's my grandpa. My grandpa golfs every morning. Yeah. He doesn't he doesn't shoot people. He also doesn't take steroids though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He also wasn't the, he also didn't the face heavyweight, Ivan Drago. The heavyweight <laughs> champion of nineteen eighty five. Okay. So with all of this yes, time we're, traveling. We're, yes, yeah, yeah. Um moving to the short. Yeah. So we're gonna have to strap in. Yeah. Because this is eight minutes long. Mm-hmm. I mean, is it enjoyable with just the audio too? Like, or should this be like yeah, a moment? It's a, to... it's a, it's a short story. Okay. I think the visual of it is really nice. Okay. Um. So this almost suits the format, like the podcast yeah, format. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. Course Gazat, if you guys don't know them, they make some very, very cool videos and very interesting videos. They, there's some like controversy because they like talk about some pretty big things mm-hmm. and then kind of like do an overview of them, I guess. And so people like argue like you left this out or like this isn't really the reason why this happens, you know, stuff like that. And it's kind of like, you know, chill. Like it's, you know, it's an animated YouTube series. Like, yeah. You know, this isn't a textbook. Yeah. But like, <laughs> you know, but they're really nice. Um, so we're going to watch it. This is called The Egg, A the Short egg. Story. Yes. Maybe if the Wi-Fi, you know. Oh, gracious. We're in. You were on your way home when you died. It was a car accident. Nothing particularly remarkable, but fatal nonetheless. It was a painless death. The medics tried their best to save you, but to no avail. Your body was so utterly shattered, you were better off, trust me. And that's when you met me. What happened? Where am I? You died, I said, matter-of-factly. Great voice. No point in mincing words. There was... there was a truck, and it was skidding. Yes. I... I died. Yes. (laughs) But don't feel bad about it. Everyone dies. You looked around. There was nothing this. Just you and me. What is this place? Is this the afterlife? More or less. Are you God? Yes, I'm God. My kids, my wife. 
What about them? Will they be all right? That's what I like to see, I said. You just died and your main concern is for your family. That's good stuff right there. <laughs> you looked at me with fascination. To you, I didn't look like God. I just looked like some man or possibly a woman. Some vague authority figure, maybe. Don't worry, I said. They'll be fine. Your kids will remember you as perfect in every way. They didn't have time to grow contemptuous of you. Your wife will cry on the outside, but will be secretly relieved. Ooh. To be fair, your <laughs> marriage was falling apart. Ooh. If it's any consolation, she'll feel very guilty for feeling relieved. Oh. So what happens uh. now? <laughs> Do I go to heaven? Or hell or something? Neither. You'll be reincarnated. Ah. So the Hindus were right. All religions are right in their own way. Walk with me. You followed along as we strode through the void. Where are we going? Nowhere in particular. It's just nice to walk while we talk. So, what's the point then? When I get reborn, I'll just be a blank slate, right? A baby. So, all my experiences and everything, everything I did in this life, won't matter. Not so. You have within you all the knowledge and experiences of all your past lives. You just don't remember them right now. I stopped walking and took you by the shoulders. Your soul is more magnificent, beautiful and gigantic than you can possibly imagine. A human mind can only contain a tiny fraction of what you are. It's like sticking your finger in a glass of water to see if it's hot or cold. You put a tiny part of yourself into the vessel, and when you bring it back out, you've gained all the experiences it had. You've been in a human for the last 48 years, so you haven't stretched out yet and felt the rest of your immense consciousness. If we hung out here for long enough, you'd start remembering everything. But there's no point to doing that between each life. How many times have I been reincarnated then? Oh, lots. Lots and lots. And into lots of different lives. This time around, you'll be a Chinese peasant girl in 540 AD. Wait. What? You're sending me back in time? Well, I guess technically. Time as you know it only exists in your universe. Things are different where I come from. Where... where you come from? Oh, sure. I come from somewhere, somewhere else. And there are others like me. I know you'll want to know what it's like there, but honestly, you wouldn't understand. Oh, you said, a little let down. Disappointed. But wait, if I get reincarnated to other places in time, I could have interacted with myself at some point. Sure, happens all the time. Oh, and what? with both lives only aware of their own lifespan, you don't even know it's happening. So, what's the point of it all? I looked you in the eye. The meaning of life, the reason I made this whole universe, is for you to mature. You mean mankind? You want us to mature? No, just you. I made this whole universe for you. With each new life, you grow and mature and become a larger and greater intellect. Just me? What about everyone else? There is no one else. Uh, In this I, universe, yeah. there's just you and me. You stared blankly at me. But all the people on Earth? All you. Different incarnations of you. Wait, I'm everyone. Now you're guessing it. I'm every human being who ever lived. Or who will ever live. Yes. I'm Abraham Lincoln. And you're John Wilkes Booth, too. I'm a Hitler, you said, appalled. And you're the millions he killed. I'm Jesus. And you're everyone who followed him. 
you fell silent. Every time you victimized someone, you were victimizing yourself. Every act of kindness you've done, you've done to yourself. Every happy and sad moment ever experienced by any human was or will be experienced by you. You thought for a long time. Why? Why do all this? Because someday you will become like me. Oh. Because that's what you are. <laughs> You're one of my kind. You're my child. Wow, you said incredulous. You mean I'm a god? No, not yet. You're a fetus. You're still growing. Once you've lived every human life throughout all time, you will have grown enough to be born. So the whole universe, it's just an egg, I answered. Now it's time for you to move on to your next life. And I sent you on your way. Uh, craziness, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. Well, you are absolutely right in this being related. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, Nelly. So I know that was a long time of just us sitting there. But hopefully you enjoyed it as well. That was, no, um, that that worked. I think that it was lo mainly audio. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, no, it's it's a story. Yeah. Um, written by Andy Weir. It's um, pretty weird. Andy Weir. But yeah, just to think about like like us being the same person and then coming up with the idea that we should do something together. You know what I mean? Uh, like stop. <laughs> I don't want to. I just think it's cool. I, uh, I just think it's cool. So then <sighs> Ah, okay. So <clears throat> in this in this story you... The only thing you need to take away from this is that I am God. Okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. It. What? Okay. What I don't get. Mm. Here's what I don't get. So like, <laughs> the only the only part of this. I mean that I was following for yeah. a large portion of that. Mm -hmm. So the whole interacting with yourself, like you are every person is a reincarnation of like the same yeah. being. Yeah. Like at what, like how do personalities exist? I guess is my question. Yeah. I don't well, know. But, but you're also like, I guess you're unknowingly all these people. Yeah. So d does that have something to do? Like, I don't, I don't yeah, know. I think it's just like, you know, the world population has grown a lot mm -hmm. over just like 2000 years. You know right. what I mean? And so it's like, you know, when you start out, people are all the same. Okay. But then, like, as time progresses, somebody who, like, like a, a poor Chinese girl in, like, 500 AD mm -hmm. is going to be a lot different than me because of all the external factors that, like, are there. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. As oh, well okay. as I see what you're saying. As but, well as her parents who are different than my parents. But like if we if one intellect is all of those people, then wouldn't it But they like, start over. Okay. So like they know okay. nothing going into God, it. okay. They only okay, have they so only have yes. the capacity to live like the life the, that they're currently living. Yeah, okay. And so the idea is is that after human race is done mm -hmm. then like we will become a god and do this to for our kid oh my god create our own universe <sighs> so okay so from from the 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 <laughs> from the god in this story's perspective mm. is he just doing this constantly like explaining this you know what i mean like, is he just, like, on repeat? Like, Probably. Or maybe only once. Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> no, because he probably, I guess. But if it's just, like... But the thing is, is, like, all of humanity, like, that's a super long time. But if you, yeah. like, are immortal, like, if you will never die... Yeah. 
then like that's what you were saying like like technically yeah you are going back in time but like it's a Tuesday but that doesn't matter me. yeah yeah mm. so like nonlinear time messes me up nonlinear because we can't because we can't we, like, we don't understand it <sighs> we should <laughs> we should start like doing something that like helps us in the past like for nonlinear time you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> okay. Just like, How do we do that? I don't know. Let's look into it. Let's read a book or something. Okay. <clears throat> like crafting our own nonlinear timeline. Just like maybe just assuming that time is nonlinear from this point on okay. <laughs> and just being like, <laughs> we, we come in next week to record and we just like bags under our eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a kid at age 31. Yeah. <laughs> I break my foot when I'm 54. Yeah. And I can't do anything about it. <laughs> and I can't do anything. I'm in a wheelchair. Yeah. You leave me. <laughs> this podcast goes nowhere. Let's quit while we're ahead. <laughs> Just like all Let's the... quit while we think we're ahead. Yeah. We, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so it turns I out this, epi- this episode's about time. Yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, it's messes with my head. And then, like, do you know about string theory at all? <sighs> The true. What is the true nature of reality? It's by the same. I don't know. The same people. I'm, we I, don't have. We don't have time to do this. We don't. We don't. But we can watch it on our own. Okay. String theory. I. I've only have heard, heard I, it thrown around, but I would yeah. not be able to tell you anything about it. Okay. Let me keep keep talking, and I'll look up like a quick. I'll try to find an abridged so, string theory. What one thing that I do like about this though mm-hmm. is that it's interesting. Like I've never thought of reincarnation of in that way. You know, there are cultures that believe in reincarnation, Mm -hmm. but if you think about it, like if you're reincarnated, like what would, like why would several people be being reincarnated? Because we started with like two, Oh, you know what I mean? So it's like, or you started with one, you know, like however, you know, Yeah. but it's like, if there's like, if you and I are both getting reincarnated, Mm -hmm. then like. How many of us are there? You know what I mean? How many? But so we're like, also like reproducing, right? Does that yeah matter? See, I don't know. But yeah. I was just, I, I just never thought of it that way. It's like there's only one person that's continuously being reincarnated. And then God. Yeah. Like for his child, his children, his yeah. child, you know, like it's just like a different way of looking at that yeah. kind of yeah. concept. Which I thought was interesting, because it's like, Ugh. like we are all God's children because we're all like God's single child living multiple multiple yeah. lives, and everything is for us, you know, like from the Christian like yeah yeah, yeah. ideology, mm-hmm. but like it's just so you can become him, him. when he's older, Ugh. you know what I mean? So it's just like. But then that that, bring, that, yeah. like, what? <laughs> that brings up the question like, what's the point of him per se? Maybe he dies. Yeah, and you just gotta... like billions and billions and billions of years from now. You know what I mean? Like yeah, their, like their hypothetically, is, yeah. we're just like you we're know a how, blip, like uh, like flies only live like whatever. Yeah, like a day. Mm-hmm. We're just like a fly to God. You know. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so it turns out there is no simple explanation of string theory. That does theory. not surprise me because <laughs> even there's a, apparently there's a whole Wikipedia site called Simple Wikipedia um, that takes big concepts and you know simplifies them. But where string theory is the longest. <laughs> yeah. We picked the worst. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah. This is a lot to unpack. Um, um, but Arrival does a good job of like visually yeah portraying it i think in in a unique way yeah it's interesting and it's entertaining everything about the movie is unique yeah like coming up with that language you know it's just kind of like what's the the like the rorschach I, yeah test type i i thing. was thinking like as we were watching it last night i'm like like you gotta be wicked smart to conceptualize this 
Like, yeah. There, there's just no way, like, you just threw this together and it, like, worked. Yeah. Like, you this had to be methodical. This is something that could have taken, like, 10 years to write. Yeah. I would not be surprised at all if this was, like, you know, like, this is my uh, life's work. Yeah. Like. Isn't it, like. It's that caliber. You yeah. You know, like. And, and then. It, if it, it's, it's not, if it didn't take, like, at least five years to write. Yeah. I would be blown away. Just with the. The amount of like intricacies that there are is insane. Yeah, and like, I want to read the story now that the screenplay is based yeah. off of. I didn't because yeah. I didn't know, but like, I'm interested to see how much it's like that. Yeah, and like how much like the screen that Eric guy had to like come up on his own. Yeah, what if it's only like 20 pages? I know, like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a he just basically two and a half hour long Ted. movie. Yeah. yeah, so like. It, like isn't it crazy? so you just said like it was like it, it could have been someone's life work um and its ultimate form is a movie yeah you know like you could have come up with this all but like it's still theoretical yeah and like the best yeah. form that you can share it with people is like hey we got amy adams and jeremy renner to that's yeah talk about it like <laughs> <laughs> which they did they both did a great job oh yeah and they're like their characters are kind of w- weird yeah um they play them like they're, like that's who they are. Yeah, which yeah, yeah. Sounds dumb because they're professionals. You mm-hmm. know, like that's what they should be doing, but like. But it's well. They do it it's well. It's like yeah. Amy Adams is a linguist, and they just picked her up off the street, and like, her mannerisms and everything, like, mm-hmm. really cool. Um, <clears throat> with that movie too, it's like, I just like. It was so realistic feeling. Yeah. Like, and it was so it was out like, there at the same time. And I don't know how they, accom- I don't know how to explain It like, was like raw that enough. Feeling. Yeah. yeah. But like, it was like, if aliens come, like this is. What would what happen? Would, this is what it would be. It wouldn't be like a humanoid looking guy crashing his spaceship, like walking out. And, you yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah bleep blorp like yeah exactly <laughs> like nino nino yeah. <laughs> um yeah and it was just like and they were like all right guys we're gonna need your help in three thousand years yeah like we've done the math like you're this the is one when, yeah who needs to know this so it's like it's not just like a rogue explorer crash landing on some it was unknown like known planet yeah and it's like if aliens come, we lose the war. We lose the war. Have you looked up? This could be a whole different episode, but there are like theories on aliens and like why we, you know, have or haven't encountered them yet. Mm. There are like, I think it's it's either eight or 12, like famous. Can we talk about aliens next week? I would love, that sounds so cool. <laughs> Let's talk about aliens <laughs> okay. next week. Okay. <laughs> I love that we went like. Last week we talked about YouTube, and this week it's like nonlinear time. <laughs> How do we do it? <laughs> Reincarnation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about aliens next week. That's so I, sick. Cool. Okay. Uh, that sounds that sounds lovely. Yeah. There's so much about aliens. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go off the deep end. This is the start of us like. Yeah, but like the week after, we'll talk about like. Farts. Water. Yeah. <laughs> Farts. The week after is right. you, is you this burping. Episode, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting all intellectual. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, next week, make sure to tune in. We're going to burp for the first time in my life. <laughs> That's so dumb. I'm so pissed that we're <laughs> doing this. <laughs> The juxtaposition's crazy. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. (laughs) We're so mean (sighs) on this. I'm sweating. Oh my gosh. Okay. um, Wear a sweatshirt on a 90 degree day. Yeah. uh, But I wore this because... mm, mm. How do I do this? Go Blue Devils. My girlfriend, Madison Natalia Marcourt. Uh, got into Duke for medical school. That's some stuff. So that's some stuff right there. Yeah. 
but we knew she was already going to get into it. Yeah. Um, Cause she understands uh heptapod language. Yeah. This wasn't a big deal for her. It yeah. was just, it happened. She now. saw the movie and was like, yeah, duh. Crack the code like five minutes in. <laughs> she actually hasn't seen it. I texted oh. her last night. I was like, we got to watch this yeah. movie together because like, I was, it's one of those that you just have to talk about. Yeah. You and, can't, like, yeah. I need to talk about it with her. Yeah. Be, you know, just like, yeah, she needs to see it so we can talk about it. I was like, I was excited that, that Eddie got as worked up as he did. Eddie, <laughs> he was like, what if we watch the movie back? What if the movie was a palindrome? And he just went, <laughs> <laughs> it's it like, yeah, it, it's one of those. I, I don't want to say like, if you don't get worked up about it, like it's not worth your time. Yeah. Like, you're not, but like, I think you will though. I, like, it, it's hard for me to picture someone not, at least reacting whoa yeah you know yeah maybe not freaking out like we did yeah we (laughs) but like we're also film people you know so it's like when we see a story that's like so well executed yeah like it's like i can't imagine doing that like (sighs) yeah it's something that i am not able to accomplish you know and it's something that like i also do Mm -hmm. so it's like just makes it even that much crazier yeah (laughs) this whole podcast is a giant ad for arrival it is i'm okay with which is fine yeah not Not sponsored sponsored by arrival (laughs) yeah also not sponsored by course (laughs) gazat yeah uh but we played your whole video and we told everybody to look at your stuff so check that out i'm hope it's uh, trill i don't think i have the uh those ads i don't think i have the just the beginning part of the ad sectioned mm, off we can get that i wonder if i could just pause it at a proper time we're gonna try it yeah here we go the breath of fresh eric and jacob podcast is brought to you in part by arrival <laughs> yes 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 yeah that's how that's done <sighs> cool aliens next week aliens next week <laughs> absolutely bring your tinfoil hats <laughs> i'm clap them I'm cheeks bringing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing it. yeah have they already stormed area 51 Oh, did you not see all the? No, we get to, that could be part of what we. Yeah, it it has to be. Someone made this really cool. Uh, okay, we got to save it because yeah, I'll just yeah, get into we'll it. we'll talk to we'll talk about it next week. Cool week uh, after Eric burps maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, whatever. Cool. Uh, let me. I'll cue up that outro. We are yeah. degrading in quality. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing steam. Where? I don't think do, we have it. Oh, we don't have it. We'll just sit here. Oh, and we s- say cue it. We'll That's sit how here it works. In silence. Okay, cool. Ready?